Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be an empties video, so let's get right into it. So I have quite a bit of empties, so let's jump right in. A whole box full of empties so let's get into this um, Plumera love this smells so good I got this at the last uh, semi-annual sale it is the keynotes are pink Plumera peach nectar red apple night blooming jasmine and gardenia petals amazing smell I would repurchase it if they brought it back but it's like one of those retired scents, but it's amazing smell. It smells so good, you guys. Yeah, so I really, really loved this one. It says, in the sun, sun-kissed neroli, sparkling orange flower, and bronzed sandalwood. Loved it. Loved it so much. Um, I believe they still have this. If they do, grab it. It's so good. It smells just like a summertime scent. It's amazing. This is the Cabana Breeze. This came out, I believe, last summer. And it is juicy star fruit, banana leaves, poolside orchid, coconut musk, and ocean breeze. Smelled really, really good. Um, I just wanted to finish this. I really did like it, but um, I give the rest to my daughter. I have a brand new one of these, so I'm going to give it to my daughter and see how, if she likes it. But I don't think I'm going to repurchase this one. I like the other one. The pink one is called Poolside Something that came out the same time. So I like that one better. But yeah, it's good anyway. It's good anyway. This is the Waikiki Beach Coconut. They have this every year. Um, the... Keynotes are beach coconut, pink passion flowers, salt water breeze, fresh bamboo, and sun beached woods. So good. I have multiples of these. I'm just glad I'm finishing them up. Oh, love this scent. It's so good. Waikiki Beach Coconut. Forever my fave. This is the... Oh, looks like that. Smells so good, you guys. This one is coconut blossom, sparkling bergamot, beach... Tumber Rose, Hawaii Minoli, and Molten Amber. This is on sale now. They, I believe they're like three bucks. So good. I love this one. This one is the Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. So, so good. I will continue to buy these. This is the Agave Papaya Sunset. This is another Shower Gel. In the keynotes are sugared agave, golden papaya, dolce de leche, coconut sands, and exotic musk. Doesn't that just sound amazing? I love it. Love, 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 love it. So that's what this one is. So good. We'll continue to buy this if they still have it. Now, this is... This is the Bath & Body Works Peach Prosecco. This is so good. I don't know if they still have this. I'm going to keep, I'm going to look for it when I go back to the sale. Um, the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap with Coconut Oil. This was so, so good. The keynotes are White Peach, Juicy Red Currant, and Frosted, and Frosted Jasmine. So, so, so amazing, amazingly good scent. If you haven't tried this, so good. Peach Prosecco. I will continue to buy this if I can find it. I hope, hopefully I can find this again. I'm going to buy like four or five of these. But they're so good. Wow. My daughter used this and she took the thing off of it. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's sweet pea. <laughs> my, uh, my daughter gives me her empties too. So this was sweet pea. She loves sweet pea. As you can tell, she even took the label off of it. So good. The keynotes are... Watery pear, sheer freesia, luscious raspberry, and a touch of soft musk. It's really good for a, what is she? She's 13 years old. 
So it's very good for a 13 year old. She really loves this and this is one of her favorite scents from Bath and Body Works. So good. And this, she finished this one up. She really loves this one too. This is Paris Amour. And the key notes are French tulips, apple blossoms, sparkling pink champagne, touched with sandalwood, and creamy musk. So, so good. Um, they also had this at the sale. Um, I think they still do now. So if you want to try that one out, she loves it and she recommends. <laughs> so This is another one of her favorites, the Moonlight Path. It doesn't have any scents, uh, key notes on it, but... She loves this one, Moonlight, scent, Moonlight Path. It is a soft, soft scent. Kind of a nighttime scent. I think it's one of their scents that they, they always have. So if you're wanting to get this, you still can. I think I believe they still sell this. So I love this during the nighttime. Really, really smells really awesome. So sticking with some more. Bath and Body Works. This is a travel size pretty as a peach body lotion. Uh, she finished this one up. She loves it. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, I'm currently using this one uh, in conjunction with other things. So yes, I love this uh, scent. It's really, really good. So She finished up the Hello Beautiful. This one is really a really nice soft scent too. It doesn't have the keynotes on here. I thought it was a little bit too... Um, it was kind of, um, it was just a little bit too much for me. I didn't really care for it too much, but she really, really loved it. It's kind of a crisp, clean scent, if that makes any sense. It's a, so yeah, and I love the bottle. It's called Hello Beautiful. If you haven't tried this out, let me know your thoughts on this. Um, I kind of like it and I kind of don't, but she really, really liked it. It's kind of a crisp. So I have some hand sanitizers. And these are the ones that she finished up. The Unicorn Ate My Homework and Very Smart. She really liked this one. It had some glitters in it. So, uh, yeah, she really liked this one. Uh, I always buy these for her so she can use these um, in school and stuff like that. So she keep her hands clean and germs and all that. So I keep her with a lot of hand sanitizers. So she did like this one. So that one this is the winter candy apple and yeah I guess this was a really really old one so she finished that one up this is the Paris Amour pocket pack uh, clearly she loves this scent so this one is the old bottle I might keep this one because I have some um, holders that would fit this so yeah I might keep that and wash it out whatever this is the Peach Bellini. This is one of her favorite scents. Every time I buy these, she takes them from me because it just smells so bomb. So, so good. Um, it's awesome. Yeah, Peach Bellini. If you haven't tried this, it's so good. So, she has that one. And she has an older one. This one is Peach Bellini also and the older style one. So, that's one of her favorites. Okay, the next, uh, oh, and I finished up this one. This one is the Pocket Pack Beach Life Island Coconut. So, yeah, I finished that one up. Um, she goes through antibacterials more than me, I believe, because, um, yeah, I use them on my purse, but I have some in my car, I have some on my vanity, I have some on my computer table, so I use all of them, so I'm don't really consist on one bottle, so she goes through a lot of them than than me. So yeah, if that makes any sense. Okay, um, Victoria's Secret. I have a couple of Victoria's Secrets here. I these are ones that I use like like half the bottle or or just a little bit, and she and I gave them to her. So this one is Hot for Pink from Victoria's Secret. This is Wild Berry and Honeysuckle. Body Mist. She loved it, as you can tell. Um, yeah, it's really a soft smell. She loves those soft, florally smells. So yeah, it really smelled really good. And you know, for a 13-year-old, she loved it. So yeah, it smelled good on her. 
This is the Pink Fresh and Clean Body Mist. I love this smell. It smells so, so good. She loved it too. So I went ahead and gave it, I gave it to her. So it's just a very fresh, uh, clean scent. Very, very, very good. If you haven't tried this, it smells so good. You can find this in Victoria's Secret uh, actual store and the uh, pink part, I think it's called, you know, the pink area where they sell the pink stuff at. So, yeah. It doesn't have... Oh, it's Apple and Lily. That's what it's called. So, so good. This one is a body mist. It says, give a little pink body mist in snowy violet and apple blossom. Yeah. This one smells pretty good, too. But she loved it. It's like a soft smell, too, for a 13-year-old. So I'm going to continue to buy, buy her these. Yeah, I will continue to buy these little um, pink things from Victoria's Secret because she, she really loves these. So she finished that one up. I finished up the Wet n Wild Under the Sheets uh, Makeup Remover Towelettes. They're pretty good. They're not the best. I found these at Dollar Tree. I just use these to, you know, take off swatches and stuff like that. It's not extremely like the best uh, makeup remover wipes that you've ever used, but they do the trick. But I don't think that I would actually like buy these to take off my whole makeup or anything like that. They're not that good so yeah the wet and wild uh under the sheets uh ones i like to keep these in my purse or you know just to take off swatches on my vanity and stuff so now this is um the suave repairing spray lotion this is so so good i love spray lotions because you can just get out the shower and just spray your legs or whatever your arms you just rub it in i love this i love 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 it the, it comes out like a mist so it doesn't like come out like a big spray on you or anything like that it comes out like a nice comfortable spa mist it's really really good i don't know if they sell these in store i found these in dollar tree actually so i have like backups of this every time i see them i pick them up they're so good so this one is uh it says it has Dead Sea Minerals in it. So I love this. It's by Suave. So finish that up. This is the Barbie Cotton Candy Scented Detangler. My daughter loves this. It smells really, really good. It also has um, castor oil in it to make your hair grow. So really, really good. It helps me detangle my daughter's hair when I'm brushing her hair out. So... It's really, really awesome. It has Barbie on it. Hello, and it smells so good. So, I found this at Dollar Tree. Very, very good. I will continue to buy those. This is the Cantu Shea Butter Thermal Shield Heat Protectant. Um, my daughter used this. So, it says it shields hair for heat up to 425. It reduces frizz and flyaways. She said it was pretty good. So yeah, she finished this up. She just um, sprayed it before she flat ironed her hair. I just recently bought her a flat iron. She just turned 13, so I'm giving her the hot tools now. She has a blow dryer and a uh, flat iron that I got her. Um, yeah. Um, this is a repurchase. My husband had completely finished this one up. This is from Dollar Tree. This is the their, their version of this is the Sean Felipe TriStar. This is their version of One in a Million by Paco. Looks like that. Got it from Dollar Tree. I repurchased. I bought him a brand new bottle. He loves this. So it's called Forever on the bottle here. So really, really good. Smells so good. Yeah, he sprays this all the time. So it's really, really awesome. It's He loves it. I love it. It's good. <laughs> so if you want to get your man a scent um, that he'd like, um, give this one a try. So it's called, um, it's their version of One Million. It's called Forever. 
So, pretty good. This is the April Bath and Shower Citrus Coconut Scented Body Lotion. I think I have like one little, little bit to put on my legs. This is so good. I love the scent of this. Came out recently. I loved it. Um, they also have like the shower gel. Oh, it smells so good. I can smell the lime and the coconut. So good. You know that song, lime and the coconut. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's really, really good. I love the scent. Um, I'm probably going to get the, I don't know, did I get lotion on my lip? I hope not. <laughs> um, I want to get the, try the body wash and I'm going to repurchase this because it's, it's, it's awesome. It's really good. She finished up the Body Fantasies Pink Sweet Pea Fantasy. You can find these at Doll Scent, so I'm going to buy her another one of these. This is the Arm & Hammer Essence Deodorant. This one is unscented. I really, really like this. Really good, kind of a citrusy kind of scent. It says it's unscented, but it smells like a citrusy sm smell to it. Um, yeah, I put a piece of washi here because me and my husband use the same deodorant, so I had to distinguish mine. Anyways, um, I will continue to buy this. This doesn't have any alcohol, doesn't have any aluminum in it. It has no parabens. It contains Arm & Hammer baking soda and natural plant extracts to absorb um, and fight odor. So it really does the trick for me. I don't, I'm not a fan of the aluminum thing and the breast cancer and all that stuff. So that's why I continue to buy this. It's, it's a stain shield. It doesn't leave the yellow mark on your t-shirt whatever that is so yeah I will continue to buy this it's pretty good I finished up the raspberry filled scented candle really smells good it really filled my um, room up with this uh, raspberry smell it smells good I got it from Dollar Tree finished it up it had a, like a little cup cupcake top to it but I, I don't know where it's at <laughs> anyway it smells pretty good these are really, really good from Dollar Tree if you see them. They're pretty good. And this is the last thing that's in here I just wanted to talk about. This, I found this at Dollar Tree. It says eyelash adhesive. I was using this eyelash adhesive for months. I don't know, a long, long time. And I don't know if it went bad or whatever, but um, if you see this at Dollar Tree, um, beware. <laughs> so I just, I don't know, I was using this for like a month straight or so, and then all of a sudden I used it and it left a scab, like chemical burn on the top of my lash line. Um, very, very bad. It was really bad. I just went ahead and put some Neosporin I think it's called some neosporin on top of there just to get the scab off and yeah that was very very dangerous so beware when you're buying eyelash adhesive at the Dollar Tree girls ooh, it burned so bad um, so yeah I don't know what happened but don't buy eyelash adhesive from Dollar Tree <laughs> or if you do beware that's all I'm saying so won't be using that again <laughs> so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have subscribed already and I'll see you in my next one bye